Welcome to the Getting to Know Alexi video series brought to you by the Alexi Consortium. Today's video, Alexi and Basic Remote Instrument Setup, is presented by Neil Forcier, Application Engineer with Agilent Technologies. My name is Neil Forcier, I'm Application Engineer with Agilent Technologies, and I'm talking to you from uh, Loveland, Colorado. Okay, so let me get started. Okay, LXI. What does LXI stand for? It stands for LAN Extensions for Instrumentation. And once again, LXI is a connectivity standard, an instrument connectivity standard based on LAN. It allows me to access my instruments remotely. Um, besides just LAN connectivity, LXI also, the standard also defines certain drivers have to be installed on an instrument, such as IVI drivers. Uh, also, it requires the instrument to have a built-in web interface so I can access the instrument's network settings and in some cases, depending on the instrument, the instrument's actual controls. And once again, this is with a web browser remotely using an Ethernet network uh, without any special software, just with a web browser. For more information on the LXI standard, because I just gave a brief overview of it, uh, if you're not familiar with it, you can learn more uh, at the website that I have listed there shown. Uh, the LXI Consortium, once again, is a consortium open to various companies, uh, Agilent being just one of the members of the LXI Consortium. Okay, so how do I control an instrument remotely with LXI? I can connect directly to it with my computer just using a LAN cable. Uh, from there, I can use uh, drivers such as Visa, Visacom, IVI, and make some software to control the instrument. I can use the web interface, like I said, or, you know, if you're a network programmer, you can get down and dirty and actually use socket uh, APIs to actually control the instrument. Now, what if I want to set up an, a test system to control multiple instruments? Well, then I add, add in a, uh, either a router or a LAN switch. A LAN switch is the easiest way, and the LAN switch is sort of a I'll say a, a dumb network device. It's just going to basically route packets where they need to go. But it allows me to connect my computer to it. I can connect multiple instruments, and now I have my LXI test system. Uh, a router can do something very similar, but a router does more. A router is a network device, and I can have a router in between where the LAN switch is in the picture instead of the LAN switch. And the idea is the router actually creates its own local network and it abstracts the instrument and your controller from any other networks you connect that router to. And the idea is the network that the router is connected to, once again, the router could be private, meaning it's not connected to another network, or can be connected to another network. And the idea is the other network sees the router as its own individual IP address, and, it abst and the router itself abstracts the instruments from the rest of the network. Uh, one Set, set up not shown in that picture. Another basic setup is if you're fortunate enough to work at a company that allows you, that the IT department allows you to connect instruments to the company's network, uh, you know, another way you can control the instruments is just having your computer connected to the company's network. Uh, of course, there can be some latency and issues there uh, depending on how the network is set up. So we talked about uh, all the instruments being controlled remotely on what I'll call a local network. And that could be the instrument connected right to the PC, uh, the instrument connected to a switch or a router or to, the, to your company's or to your home's local network, whatever. The idea, though, is it gets a, lot, gets a little more tricky when you're trying to access the instrument from a network that is not local to where that instrument is located. And we're going to be talking about that in this presentation. And another sort of basis for the rest of the presentation is the computer in our model for when we're controlling an instrument and network linger, the computer is acting like the client and the instrument is acting like a server, meaning the computer initiates the connection with the instrument, controls the instrument, and then disconnects. Just like if you were you know, connecting to a Google or an Amazon website, your computer is the client initiating the uh, connection with the server, and it gets the information it needs, and then it closes the connection. Now, the instrument can do that easily from 
inside your company's network or inside your router's network uh, because it is a client. Your company's network security and even a router's firewalls are going to block you if you're trying to come from the outside in. Okay, so like I said, first section, go through fairly quickly. Now let's go into uh, going wireless with LXI. Uh, 